a wise sailor if you disrespect a boat the world will end so i did just that i made a very cheap boat for like 450 rupees here's how you can make yours i'm arif and you're watching more rounds so what i think we should use for this project to make it the cheapest and most affordable and also very simple is basically one arduino two motors two servos two battery arrays which are lithium ion 18650 like these ones a 9 volt battery for uh, the ar- powering the arduino and a kind of sensor which can communicate uh, with you like a bluetooth module hc05 or hc06 also works or an ir sensor which uses an ir remote signal this is what uh, i think the basic layout should be usually all the heavier things i think should be at the bottom to keep the entire thing stable as you can see here this is what the model i have made and i think i should use this for the project i have kept a random weight at the bottom and whenever any kind of waves try to tilt it is the weight is going to try and pull it back to the uh, uh, standard stable form like of uh, the 9 volt battery even though it's heavy i want it to be waterproof that's why it's going to stay uh, in a some kind of box which is above like the middle line but almost all the heavy parts like the bat- uh, lithium ion batteries the motors and the keel the weight here should be at the bottom be aware of what kind of propellers you are using propellers that are built for air are serious and are going to work even this one which is has been trimmed a lot uh, is not built for cutting air and as uh, uh, slows down uh, the motor a lot if you do not have any kind of propeller you can use uh, these uh, iron plates which are inside dc motors i have uh, taken it out of an old one and if you take these fins and t- uh, t- angle them a bit they should act as a decent propeller you can just screw them on uh, to a plastic tubing and connect that to the motor if you want uh, lithium ion batteries that uh, you can use for future projects as well i recommend very trusted brands like samsung molecel and uh, sony lg is also good molecel has the highest power density it has up to 35 to 45 amps samsung is a cheaper alternative which has around 20 amps and 2500 milliamp hours which is a cheap alternative and has a good balance Let's talk about the motor drivers. L two nine three D motor drivers and the ones which are on shields, like H W one thirty, will not work for this project as they have a peak current of only one thousand two hundred milliamp hours, which is seriously not enough for these motors. And if you're using bigger motors, they might have a higher higher uh, current draw. So you should go with either L two nine L two nine eight N T B six six one two F N G. S N S N seven five double four one zero, or this random uh, servo uh, motor uh, driver, which I think uh, will be very simple. So basically, it'll be a servo which uh, will uh, be activating a switch. In a very simple terms, it's just going to be a switch which is going to be triggered by a servo. It's very easy and doesn't exactly have a current limit. It's uh, the only limit is how much the switch is rated for. You can make your own switch, basically a conductor plate and jumper wire, or you can just use any other premium switch. Just remember, in L two A nine eight N, the peak current is three thousand milliamp hour, and it can only handle that if it has any kind of thermal cooling, like a heat sink, which is kind of bulky and make the entire project uh, heavy. I think I would recommend uh, the uh, servo which is activates a switch because it's very straightforward. <laughs>
Okay, so here's what I have come up with. I, as I showed you before, this is the kind of motors I'm going to use. They're pretty cheap and decently efficient. Uh, I also uh, told that use propellers that are not built for air. These are actually built for air, but for very small drones. They're actually built for air, but for very small drones. And they work uh, pretty well for this project. They have this leading edge, which casts through the water very nicely. The steering system is very simple. It's just a basic 4-bar mechanism connected to a servo. You can make this out of any kind of uh, material you find uh, handy. So basically, whenever the servo turns, the uh, motors turn along with it. It's very simple and if you are replicating this, it's not that hard to make. Okay, so I have assembled and attached all the motors to the boat. It looks okay. This is what I have been talking about for almost the entire video. You might be bored after listening all of it. But this is what completes the circuit. This is a, a, will basically be connected to the batteries. And uh, these aluminium plates are connected to more jumper wires. This will be like the uh, output. So uh, when uh, any of this uh, charge will be, uh, 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 it will come to here, but it, uh, the circuit won't be completed because uh, there's uh, this much air gap. But w when the signal is sent, both of the terminals uh, touch the aluminium plates which are connected to the output and it uh, completes the entire circuit. So this is the most important part of the project, the flag. I think this is the danger pirate sign thing. It's very important. Do not forget this. Okay, it's essential. Otherwise, the boat will not work. This is the flag. Stop. Stop. Okay, now I <clears throat> wanted to see how well it works, so I whipped up this prototype in like 20 seconds and I just want to see how, how fast it goes. I seriously, uh, I'm glad it's so rainy. The whole area is completely uh, 
flooded and I can test this anywhere. Okay. Uh, I think making the boat out of cardboard is a bad idea. Nice. Just look at it. The entire thing is so like if you've already done it and this might actually happen to you. It's completely soaked. Yeah, so plan B. I, I'm going to make the entire boat. I'm going to redo it. And I'm going to make it out of plastic bottle. Okay, done. So, this is much more different than the bottle I showed you before. But trust me, it is the bottle. If you want, you can see this is the plastic. I have added all the electronics inside. And made this stop cover so nothing splashes on. This is the servo which act actuates the switch and uh, this is the for steering. These are the batteries, currently they are fully charged. Th and there are two LEDs, one to show the uh, remote is working and one to show if the second power supply for the servos is on. And yeah, I forgot to tell, I have used a total of three power supplies, not two. You are familiar with this one, which is uh, for the motors and the other 9 volt battery. Which is for the Arduino. But the 9 volt battery could barely supply enough current uh, for uh, uh, both the servos as well. So I, I added uh, four more AA batteries. And this beast right here is supposed to keep the entire boat stable. It's pretty heavy but the boat can handle it. And for some reason I found the dumbest name for the boat. I named it Sea Pickle. How I made the a new uh, boat out of the bottle, like it looked very different, and I didn't film a much here to show you people. I basically uh, put a piece of foam on top of the bot a bottle lid and covered it with a vinyl uh, sh sheet and a bunch of cardboard. Talking about the price of everything, you can e uh, uh, easily get uh, the components from trustworthy sources like the batteries for sixty rupees each. The motors for 30 rupees each, the uh, uh, Arduino uh, Pro Mini for like 200 rupees, and you can e uh, do it e simply and easily under uh, five dollars or 500 rupees, 450 rupees. It's uh, very easily possible. The attempt and the testing of the boat on the lake was okay. I mean, like we could call it satisfactory. The uh, batteries were not fully charged, it was the main problem. I thought they were charged, but they weren't. And it was, uh, by the time we came to the lake, it was already too late. Whenever you're trying this, please do not forget to charge the batteries. And another thing, the keel, the uh, which extended a uh, long way, way under uh, the boat, uh, kept getting stuck in the mud. And uh, kept making the boat rotate uh, uh, as you could have uh, seen in all of the shots. If you want to launch a boat, Please launch it far away from the edge and if you considering these factors, you should be good. One thing which I was very amazed about the boat was its turning radius. It had like very good steering and I saw it spinning in a pretty small area. I've seen this boat has a lot of potential for like this uh, price range. I might revisit this uh, project in the future. Like. Please tell in the comments section if you have any recommendations and all, like how to make this better. Or maybe uh, comment down uh, wh what we could do next. Smash that like button, subscribe. Uh, see you in the next video.